Hey, V, come here. Hey, Mitch. You doing okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing all right, but, uh, meh. So many dead. So many of them good friends, too. Do you know what it's like to lose your best friend? Mm-hmm. Name was Jackie. Uh-huh. How'd he go? Like everyone goes in Night City. Anyway, come on. Help me out with something. What? Some loose ends. Final goodbye. I don't much want to do it alone. Now's a bad time. Well, go do what you gotta do. I can wait a bit. Okay. I'll help. Come on, then. You're okay behind the wheel, right? Yeah. And? We're going for a drive. That much, right? Uh-huh. And where? I can tell you're a city girl. You want to know everything. Now. Yesterday. Look what I found. A little patience, V. Yeah. Whose was that? Josh's. He had it since he was a child. Here in the Aldecaldos, it all stays in the family. Used to be scorpions, that rig. Now she belongs to me. And my old girl's right next to it. Nice wheels. Both of them. Damn right. Out here, those wheels are our life. I'll take scorpions, you hop in the other. Seriously, where are we going? One of Scorpion's favorite spots. I owe him one, V. Why don't we just take one? Because we need two. Shit. You're about as useful as a data term helpline. You'll see, V. Trust me. All right, let's go. Let's hit the road. Follow me. Mitch, you hear me? Yep. More driving, less talking. Ah, uh, sun on my face, wind in my hair. Perfect. Oh, hey. Haven't seen you in a while. Not a fan of funerals. Mm-hmm. You and death don't really mix. Say that like it's my fault. Never asked Saburo to put me on that fucking chip. Or for you to slot it in your head. Oh, I hope this place isn't too far. Speaking of, where are we going? Not a clue. My, what a good little girl scout. So trusting, so accommodating. It's for Scorpion. His last wish or something. That good enough for you? Great. Never a dull moment. Holy shit! Mitch, what the hell? Relax, V. It's what Scorpion wanted. He wanted you to stuff him in the trunk like a spare tire? No, he wanted me to take him here. And send him off with a bang. We set him up behind the wheel, douse the car, then light it, let him fly off the edge. Mitch. Fucking gone. Yeah, yeah, quit complaining. Grab me that can, will you? Here we go. Great. Go ahead. Put it in the passenger seat. 
see the driver's already behind the wheel. No point wasting time. Another hour or two and he'll puff up like a balloon. Right. Shall we get this show on the road? You absolutely sure this is a good idea? No, V. No, I am not. But it was my best friend's dying wish. So I'll do whatever the fuck I can to make it happen. With or without you. Let's do it. Hell yeah. I already got a rag in the can. You light it. I'll start the car. She's burning! Quick, before she blows! May the road be kind to you, friend. Out with a bang. Just like he wanted. Soot and ash. That much remains. So... How about a beer? Sure. I'll drink to a send-off like that. Well, come on. Ah, nothing like a good cold one. Agreed. Hey, speaking of, where'd that nickname come from? Scorpion. Funny. You know, I haven't the slightest idea. Never asked him. He a Scorpio or something? <laughs> Maybe he had a big stinger. <laughs> ah, Scorpion, you old bastard. I'm gonna miss you, man. Mitch. Why me? Why did you ask me to help? Ah, oh, you seem like a good egg. I'm serious. I don't know, I, uh... I guess the fact that I'm still here to send him off right. That's thanks to you. Your path's crossed. Just for a moment. But damn, was it the right one? Listen, there's a, a few things of his you ought to have. Like this little good luck charm. Go on, it, it's yours. What is it? Not a clue. Scorpion always had it on him, no idea why. Listen, I'm gonna sit here for a while, all right? Brood in peace. Understood. I'll be off then. Sure. Listen, if you want, you can take my car back to camp. Whatever works for you. Oh, and, uh, thanks, V, for today. And for getting me out of that shit back then, too. You're all right. You're really all right. We lost everything! We have to pay the price! We lost
sleep in a pipe. Yeah, like one of them pipes from the sewer. Yeah, my back's killing me. Uh-huh. Yeah, I slept pretty good. Still had to get up early because I got the, uh, you know, the kid. Yeah. Yeah, they say you can't get drunk when you got kids, but that ain't true. You can, you just gotta get up in the morning. Called being responsible. Right. So, where was I? How was it? You both. Huh. I think it was here. Okay, waiting. Oh, hey! Hi! Hey, how's it going? Glad you're here. I need your help cooking. What's on the menu? Jambalaya. Come on. You can stir the meat. Uh, soy meat. Okay. Don't know. Maybe Joss would be more help. Joss did her bit. Just grab the damn spoon and start stirring. This is an ancient Ward family secret. Uh-huh. Onions, paprika, thyme. I just need to mince some celery and garlic. But you stir, please. Stir. How's Randy holding up? He's looking for his old self. Physically, though, it'll be a long road before he's back to full health. And mentally? That was some experience. What Harris did to him, fucked as this might sound, might have helped the kid. Could be wrong, but... Feels like a clean break for him. Somehow look different than usual today. Is that so? Yeah. Different meaning normal. <laughs> As if you got a good night's sleep. Hmm. Well, wanted you to see this side of me too. Honestly? Still stirring? I thought you were kidding about the cook-off. Or that Joss had sweat away in the kitchen while... Oh. Joss doesn't know the first thing about cooking. Actually, I like to torture foodstuffs. <laughs> Haven't had many opportunities lately. Don't mean to spoil a nice day, but... I gotta ask. What about Peter Pan? You're asking if I killed him. We'll talk later, okay? Sure. No pressure. It's just I... You know. I know. All right. Think you've stirred enough? Mind grabbing the rice from the kitchen? Yes, sir. I'm sure this didn't help none. You know, his father was a difficult man, too. That's exactly what I told him. But he always got the same speech back. Nobody cares about these kids who don't exactly fit the mold. In those words, yeah. Wanted to tear my hair out every time I heard him. And when can I visit again? That's great. Because I really want to bring him something. He loves music, so... Sorry. No, I'll remember. Just tell me. Thanks so, so much. You've been wonderful. Huge help. Mm-hmm. Yes. Talk again soon. Really nice of you to come. Thanks for having me over. I should be thanking you. Looking good, Joss. Really think so? Thanks. 
How's Randy? Still in the hospital. Still in shock. But he's making progress. Haven't had a chance to tell you just how grateful I am. What matters is it's over now. I just don't know how to repay you. If Randy Don't had... owe me a thing, Joss. Thank you. River's out back. You know? He can't seem to stop gushing about you. Basmati, nice. Tomatoes in next. Now you can toss in the rice. Rice is in. Okay, now this has to bubble and brew. Patio? Grab a chair. And a beer or something else. It's nice out here. Yeah. Seems all good. Like nothing bad ever happened. Tell me now, about Harris. I paid him a visit at the hospital. He's still in a coma? Yep. In a strange slumber between life and death. An empty shell in a hospital bed. One shot to the head. Quick and clean. I had the same thought. It would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and remembered something. River. How my parents died. Now, oh, you sure you want to hear this? What happened? Old man had a farm, like Harris's dad. But when business took a turn, well, my parents managed to open a small grocery. We lived on the floor above. A loud noise woke us one night. They wanted cash. Register was empty, so they stormed upstairs, forced us all to kneel, and demanded my dad tell him where he hid the money. Mostly, I remember my mom crying when my dad swore they'd found all we had. One was gassed out of his mind. He fired first, blew half my dad's skull off. Jesus, River, I'm sorry. He was erratic, went rabid, handed me his gun and ordered me to aim it at my mom's head. I can still see her tear-filled eyes at the end of that barrel to this day. What did you do? Nothing. I stood frozen. Finally, he just snatched the gun back. Shot my mother and they left. Police never caught him. That was why I joined the force. I couldn't agree with scum like that Roman free. No one to hunt him. Was Joss there too? Saw all this? Mm hmm. I think when she looks at me, she still sees that boy holding a gun to her ma's head. Can't tell you how sorry I am. So when I stood over Harris in that hospital bed, barrel to his brow, I was that kid again, but I was also the junkie who shot my parents. Didn't kill him then? I've ended a few lives in my time, but never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick, 
told myself the case was closed. That's good. But when now? You're not going back to the PD? P.I. has a nice ring to it. Who knows? Uncle we'll River, you said you'd play with us. You promised. All right, all right. Let's go. V, join us? What are we going to play, Uncle River? You'll see. Dorian, we're playing. Yeah, big trouble in Haywood. Grab your set. think? Always wanted to try a game like this. Well, well. Nice firepower there. This is no time to get distracted. We can't let that filth get away. Oh, well, look at you. V, allow me to introduce Captain Joan McLean and Lieutenant Henry Callahan. They're our precinct's best and brightest. Wouldn't want to get in their way. I always work alone. No exceptions. Even for you. Yeah, me too. Oh, I've heard of cops like you. The lone wolf type. That's right. Thorns in their commander's side. Rebels who play by their own rules. I've been suspended one time, retired two times, and kicked off the force three times. I'm getting too old for this. But some always drags you back. The city needs me. Got a crash course? Anything I ought to know? The entire city is sick with crime and corruption. Lawlessness rules the streets. And we're no saints either. Even the police are haunted by the sins of their past. But the city's without hope. No one else would ever dare face El Chamuco and Diablado. Oh, he's the worst, but I know we can beat him. The city's most evilest mastermind ever. All right, let's get to it. Right. All we gotta do is track down El Chamuco and Diablado and take out his lackeys along the way. He'll pay for his crimes. We play like two teams, us and the kids, but we work toward the same objective. The team with the best result wins. You don't stand a chance. Hey V, just go easy, okay? It's their favorite game. Sure. Oh, there he is, get him! The city's mine! You'll never take her from me! <laughs> He's fast, but not fast enough to escape justice. Watch out! It's cruise! He's hit! He's hit! Not half bad. He's hit! He's hit! Next round! Next round! This way. It must be their rat-infested hideouts. I could smell the moral decay from a mile off. Mm, quiet. Too quiet. It's a trap! They were waiting for us! Not half bad! <laughs> Not done yet. He's hit! He's hit! Okay, that's all of them. But next time we gotta be faster. Out of the way, citizen! Obstructing justice is punishable by law. This is your last warning! Easy there, Captain. I'm just passing through. He did that! Not far now. Don't charge it there, Callahan. I can't afford to lose one of my best men. Don't 
Don't worry about me. <laughs> Too slow. Too many donuts. Not done yet. Lunch is ready. Uh, but Mom, you almost had him. Oh, you'll get him next time. At least we beat the grown-ups. We're the best! Thanks for letting him win. They had fun. Oh, <laughs> they're great kids. It's no problem. Seems they took a liking to you, too. On the table. So, was your game fun? Awesome! <laughs> we kicked their big butts! The bad guys? Huh? Oh, yeah, the bad guys, too. Time to see if this tastes as good as it smells. Unemployment's being good to you. You seem good. River's discovering the joys of family life. That and police duty. Never a good mix. This here's a way to get some of those years back. I haven't seen him this... untroubled in a while. What about you, V? You got a family? Or just relations? If the future allows it, I'd like to have one someday. If for no other reason than that I love get-togethers like this. Well, you brought my family back to me, and I'm grateful. If you say so, Joss. And my brother likes you. Joss. Well, why hide it? Probably asked you to say that himself. Didn't he? Wow. How did she know? Come on, Joss. You don't see wedding bells in my future, surely? Why not? Who thinks me and Uncle River make a good couple? <laughs> I do. <laughs> v just voted. Well, that's decided. Got an 11.99. Officer needs backup. Come on, pull you out of this ambush. Thanks, Joss. Yeah, thanks. Whew, situation was getting dicey. That's what partners are for. You were about a hair's breadth away from having to look at photo albums. Here we are. What are we looking at? A water tower. Great spot. Great for what? For, you know, the views. The views. Right. This way I... Oh, fuck. Gate stuck again. Gonna fix it one of these days. Let me give you a boost. Climb over, open it from the other side.
No need. Whoa! Okay, we like <laughs> leaping. Just push. It seems easier to open from that side. Okay. On our way. Area's not bad, actually. Unlikely to dazzle. Make a good first impression, though. Certainly no Corpo Plaza. No. But life's livable here. No worse places to raise kids. Randy's problems with the law. Those didn't pop out of thin air. True. But Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too. Apparently the worst city between the Atlantic and the Pacific. But I sure do love this view. Find it calming. Views to die for. Great spot indeed. Told you. Got something for you. Wow. Uh, what's the occasion? Aiming to close a door. A stage of my life is done. This thing holds too many memories. Won't let me do that. It'll serve you better. Thank you. Just promise you won't blow your foot off. Oddly specific request. Josh's husband did it. Drunk. This very spot. Which made this your special spot? Family landmark? Something of the kind. All right, V. You know why we're here, don't you? Say you do. Please, don't string me along. Ever feel alone? Of course I do. But doubt I'm cut out for relationships. <laughs> I doubt you know who you're talking to. Me? I'm a master of disastrous relationships. I'll need some evidence. Was only ever in love once. I was a shithead. Well, he was... He was great. But... Well, he had... Quirks. Between the sheets, I mean. Found that out later. Couldn't get hard without a mask on. And not the Venetian carnival kind, but U.S. presidents. A closet full. The hell? Had to dump him. I only fuck Honest Abe so many times. <laughs> I don't, you made that up. No, I no, no, seriously. Smashed one relationship to pieces along with the fucker's jaw. Why? What'd he do? Said I was too aggressive for him. Kidding. He had a side bitch. Caught him fucking between the sheets I'd bought. Poof. Classic. Booked a skydiving experience for this one guy I was dating. And he never came back. Aw, oh, V. I'm sorry. I know what it means when somebody close dies. Dies? No. No, no, no. Just fallen out of that plane, he fell in love with his instructor. Nice story. 
but it don't beat my last serious liaison. What did you do? I shot her. Shut up. Had no choice. Found ourselves standing on opposite sides of the law. But don't worry. Never made it a habit. I'm done shooting the women I date. Listen, River. If you expect this to evolve somehow. Don't stand a chance, do I? <laughs> Maybe we keep it at friends? Yeah. Sure. All right. We can still have a drink. Something strong's sure to hit the spot. Now that I understand. Here's to Joss and the kids. Yeah, to family. Got any more of that? Two bottles of whiskey and a case of beer ought to be enough. We'll see about that. Buckle your liver in. Gonna be a long night and a longer morning. <laughs> didn't pop out of thin air. True. But Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble. city between the Atlantic and the Pacific. Houston. Ever feel Nice story. Shut. I see what you're doing, River. And how am I doing? Do I stand a chance? Just don't fall in love with me. Too late, V. Too late.
Christ, V. Can't believe you're making me fuck a cop. Gonna go plug my ears, gouge out my eyes. Hey. Hey? Coffee will be ready in a jiff. <sighs> oh, Prem. Talk to your... you know yeah I dreamt of a warehouse searching containers in it warehouse must have been huge <laughs> you were loud taste it best coffee you've ever had I bet best jambalaya best Coffee. Mm-hmm. Come on, keep it coming, and... Just that. So, I've been thinking. What? Last night, you and me. Is this going anywhere, you know, longer term? Listen, River. What happened... It was real. It was good. But... I can't make any plans for the future. There's this thing... That you couldn't tell me about. I know. Call it veteran cop intuition. It's why I told you about my parents. To give me courage? Boost it? Oh, no. So you'd know exactly how fucked up I am. Give you a chance to consider if you even want me. River... I'm dying. Wanna haggle on? Try to outdo that? What? Wasn't just me you spent the night with. Sharing headspace with a construct I caught like some disease. All because of an experimental Arasaka biochip. Construct? You mean, like, somebody's mind? Mm-hmm. An engram of Johnny Silverhand. Yes. That Silverhand. And it's getting worse. But... Sorry, still not following you. You're talking to V right now. But tomorrow, this could be a self-obsessed dickhead rocker boy. And trust me, you don't want to talk to him. How is that even possible? He's displacing my own neural net, River. Gradually destroying my brain. But it's reversible, right? Uh, there's no way it could actually kill you. Actually, doesn't look promising. Need to excise him. Get him out of my brain before it's too late. Shit. Still want to be my boyfriend. Who do you take me for? Of course I do. This doesn't change a thing. Question is, what do you want? Are you willing to give this a shot? This works, River. I like being around you. Let's give it a try. 
Let's give it a try. But if it doesn't work, we'll still be friends, right? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, okay? Sure. Yeah. Good morning. Not intruding, I hope. The generator? You remember, right? Oh, fuck. Need me to fix it now? Yeah, now. Then we go to the hospital. I'd rather have everything ready for when Randy gets back. Don't mind me, and tell Randy I said hello. Oh, damn. Oh, sorry, V. Will I see you later? Yeah, sure. Have a good day, then. What's up with the generator? I don't know, but electricity's out. And then his room needs tidying. I'm supposed to do that? I know how it sounds, but this one time, please. <laughs> 